Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. Um, this is a paper two from the International um, Cambridge Assessment International Education CAIE. It's called now Cambridge IGCSE zero zero five eight zero. A paper two extended um, paper from this new syllabus. I think this was the new. This was the first paper of the new syllabus of this, um, um, you know, when they, when they changed it in 2020. In fact, this, this paper didn't take place. Um, it took place, I think, later on in October. They actually held it, maybe. Or they didn't actually take place. This was just a, a paper that was, was published, but they were cancelled due to COVID. But they released the paper still. So this was the first ever paper for this paper, for this um, new syllabus of um, IGCSE, which has just started now. So um, I'm going to go through this paper. This is a paper two. I'm going to go through it question by question and then put them all together in one playlist. The reason being is I want um, to be able to, to, do, to separate the questions according to topic as well as paper. That way I'll be able to have all the topics on, you know, all the questions on particular topics in one playlist and that might be useful for students revising those topics. So I'm going to split it up into separate, uh, lots of separate videos and just save them in playlist for this paper and playlist for the topics that those questions are from. So without further ado, let's go on with question number one. Now, question number one is telling us to find, they've given this rectangle A. It's, got, it's, it's a rectangle with the a length of eight and a width of three. It tells us this is not to scale. It says five rectangles congruent to A means that they're exa <laughs> exactly the same size and shape as A. So that means this, this would be 3, this would be 8, this would be 3, this would be 8, and so on. They are joined together to make a shape. Work out the perimeter of this shape. Okay, so if you want to work out the perimeter of this shape, we have to work out the length of the outline of the shape. And the place where a lot of students might go wrong in this question is they might think that we just find the perimeter of this one um, rectangle and then multiply it by 5. The problem with that is there are some parts that are missing, which are these parts over here. Okay, so we have a few options. Um, you know, <clears throat> we could find the perimeter of five of these and then uh, take away these lines, but then you've got to be careful because you've got a bit from this and from that as well. So I would personally f find out what the length of one of these uh, lines are first, okay, and then and what we can do then is just work out the perimeter. Like for example, we have eight centimeters. We got this is going to be eight, 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 eight and eight. All right. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So we have six times eight. Okay. That's the. Um, let me write it down here. So you have six times eight. That's the length of these long lines here. Right. Um, and then you're going to have. Um, three and three and three and three and three and three okay so you're going to have how many threes are there one two three four five six threes all right now what we got are these lengths here okay this plus this all right so what we could do here is we could say okay let's take this whole length is going to be eight and this part is three so what's left over is five these together make five so if I if I add this and this, that's that must be five, because you have eight minus three, which is five. And how many of them have you got? You got one, two, three, four. So we say plus four times five. That way we have left out um, these sections here. We have left out these sections here, and this will give us the perimeter of the shape. So we have we've got all these lines, which are eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got all these lines, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got these lines, one, two, three, four, okay, um, which we've taken away from this. So this whole side, we've taken away these lines here, all right, so we end up with th this whole side being five, and this being five, and this being five, and this being five, and that's finding the perimeter without these bits in the middle. So six eights are 48, plus six threes are 18, plus 20, so we have 48 plus 18, that's 58, 66 that's going to be 86 is it in centimeters yes centimeters so the answer we write in the space over here should be 86 centimeters and there we have the answer to part to question number one 
um, pretty simple, but just take care. The mistake that people are going to make are just take the perimeter of the shape, so the 8 times 3 is 24, and then multiply that by 5, because I think there's 5 of them. But we must take care of getting rid of these sections here, because the perimeter is the length of the outline of the shape, not the parts inside the shape, like over here. So there's the answer to question number one. All right, bit of logic, bit of uh, menstruation, you know, with perimeters, and yeah, there's the answer. Okay, so other questions from this paper of June 2020, the, P, the paper 2-1, okay, um, will be found in this playlist over here. This is for the variant one of the paper two of this, this, this paper. Other questions um, about this topic, which I guess I'll put it under mensuration, areas, volumes, and stuff, will be found in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.